my uncle are heading to North Carolina for the month because my cousin Kaya is having a baby. So we are taking their cat so that they didn't have to board him because they're going to go to North Carolina for a month and then go to Alaska to see my other cousin. So I made Frazier, their cat, his own little room and there's a little hidey hole. So I put blanket down in the cat bed. So we are getting Frazier today. Um, rainy day all day. It's finally let up a little bit. Belly hates rain days because she likes being outside, but Chris is out there fertilizing the lawn. He just moved, of course, when I started vlogging, but hopefully we'll get some of that gross dead lawn area to brown or be from brown to green. Call him Ranger Rick when he has that high hat on. So he's multitasking by fertilizing the lawn, playing with the dog, and grilling us dinner. So it's a pretty gloomy day today. It's been raining all day yesterday and pretty much just sprinkling today. And I just had some renters check out, so I always like to come down here as soon as they check out and grab any trash, which they didn't leave a lot, which is nice. And then I'll flip tomorrow because I'm not going to worry about getting the sheets all grossy. But look at this cute headband. So Sue, who I work with, um, she makes hats in the wintertime and like uh, bowl koozies. And she's making, did I say mask already? I think maybe I said that. She's making mask, and then she just started making the headbands. Well, I guess I can hold this before I go up. Um, that you can like, she made this mask for me. And you attach your mask to the headband by the buttons because I can't do that <laughs> one-handed. So you attach it where your mask and that way it's not on your ears all day. So thanks Sue. But we haven't really done much today because of the rain. The chickens have been stuck inside the coop for the last two days. Same with Belly. She's getting really restless but We'll let her out when we can, um, but she's just so big and she gets really stinky and it takes forever for her to dry. So we're trying to keep her inside. But yesterday we didn't get to go get Frazier because Chris had a mandatory COVID Zoom call that he had to do. So we, Chris is actually finishing up a Zoom now and then we're gonna go over and get Frazier for my aunt because we're watching him for the month or the next two months. And I don't think we have anything really else planned because it is gloomy out. Um, we blocked the Airbnb for the next two days um, so that we can get some, like, we're going to spray for hornets and um, ants, um, set some mice traps, replace the door, you know, just normal maintenance stuff now that um, it, we're full into summer mode, I guess, and all the, all the things are coming out. We don't have a big, huge problem, but, you know, we just had two days in between. We actually only have these two days. And two other days, the 8th and the 9th. And other than that, July is book solid. Boop, boop. <laughs> so Belly gets really anxious when it rains because she does like being outside. But now she's just laying outside in the rain, looking over her land. Frazier. JK Kitty. I am winded because I just carried him up the steps but um this is Frazier he's gonna stay with us for the next two months should we let you out It's okay. He's so pretty. <laughs> it's like an FBI dog sniffing me down. Yeah. We're just at my aunt's house and she has a little dog Coda. You smell Coda?
there's nobody to hear. <laughs> All right, I have the rain boots on because it's kind of still gloomy and yucky out, but it's not raining at the moment. And these guys have been cooped up for two days. So this is going on day three. So you guys want to come outside? gonna be first out of the coop. Oh, we're free. <laughs> I think we're excited. Hey, Finnick. Your tail feathers are looking long, my friend. I feel like I can see some teal in him. He's gonna be a pretty boy. Yeah, talking about you. All right, let's go get the baby. Oh yeah, I definitely have a rooster. Couldn't tell by that one. Which should be okay, hopefully. Um, we have enough birds for the rooster, uh, hen ratio, so we'll just have to monitor that, but definitely have a rooster. <laughs> Gail, why do you have to be a rooster? Yeah, you. <laughs> so I'm going to let everyone free range for a little bit. Um, oh, there's our little chip monk friend. He just went in between the house. That's great. <laughs> the one thing I'm not used to is these freaking spiders. Charlotte's web up there. I guess with chickens comes different life forms. Thankfully, I have not seen any mice or rats yet. Gail, come here. So you look at these ones. They don't have a comb on them. And then he's got the little, I think they're called waffles underneath his chin. Yeah. Oh. What's he doing up there? Everybody's mad at me. But let's see if I can get a better. There's Gail with his waffles. And this one has no waffles. Oh, Mags. Oh, you coming up too? Yep. Maybe not. Oh, yep. There's two on my back. Gail, you coming up too? girls so he's six weeks old and I ordered four um, hens and I got an extra one and it just happens to be a rooster so hopefully it should be good I'm hoping nap time my mom also said I don't know if we can get it but chickens blink instead of from top to bottom they it's bottom to top there's our big boy and he's got some teal coming in on his tail. Teal coming in on his tail feathers. But he's massive compared to the other girls. 
Let's see if we can catch them blinking. And also Rachel, um, she's a friend of mine from work and she asked about the tail or their feet feathers. So these are light Brahma chickens. And that's just a characteristic that the Brahmas have is that they actually have feathers on their feet. At first I was like weird, weirded out by them, but now it just looks like they have pants on. So it's really funny. <laughs> Harvest from her <laughs> garden beds. Strawberry. Little guy. Oh, not in focus. Hey. Her mouth. Everything. What were, you, what were you doing under there? Her feet. <laughs> I'd go back under here. It was awfully quiet, so I knew she was up to something. Finally stopped raining, though. Can you see it? Belly's hole. Hey, why are you digging the china? I wasn't doing nothing, Mom. There's a chipmunk in there. Oh, the turd monkey. This hole is ridiculous. I'm not crawling under there, but. Billy, what do you want to say for yourself? Huh? You really have to go to the spa now. So here's Frazier. He's been hiding under the bed for two days. And now he's not a scaredy cat, huh? He's so pretty. Yes, I am. <laughs> Came to Tractor Supply um, to get some chicken feed, and we came to Waterville because we were going to replace the full door in the caboose. And then Chris found a piece here at Tractor Supply so that we don't have to do that. But I was hoping that he was going to be right back. I guess we'll have to get him when he comes back. But Chris bought a new toy at the old Tractor Supply. They also had baby chicks. Here and it was really hard not to get them because they're so cute, but I don't need any more chickens. We're putting our new toy in the truck. Ooh, it's heavy. Um, we just bought a box blade. I was gonna have Chris explain it, well maybe I will. But growing in our trees. I need a spray for the worms. Hopefully I don't get shot with rock pellets. 
So I'm gonna use the box blade to try and fix this driveway to the cabin and caboose. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty rocky, rutted up, grass over it. it. Hasn't probably been finished in a long time. So this will be the project for the weekend. Hopefully I can get some done tonight. Oh, Belly, you're fine. What'd you catch? Big rock. Good that we have, or he has tomorrow off, but we have guests coming in at three. So he needs to be fixing this, but this is the problem area was really down here. So hopefully he'll be able to sort it all out. I'm gonna cut these trees down as well. I really filled it up because I forgot. Yeah, you're cool. Oh, is that your pool? <laughs> Eat it, Billy. Get your pool. Crazy pooch. What idea was this? This chick was all the way up here and then this ding dong scared her away. So hot and muggy. She ruined it for me because Finnick and the R4 took off and then these ones got scared because of her. Chris is doing the driveway. Ugh. Well, here's what the project looks like so far. But we are about to get stormed on. So I'm gonna go in and uh, resume either later this evening or uh, tomorrow morning, but it's coming along. Good morning. <clears throat> we are working in uh, the caboose today. We've had a lot of trouble with this door and uh, went to Home Depot yesterday and got something that's gonna really help us out. So I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. So this is the Ryobi door, wood metal door lock installation kit. And uh, <clears throat> you can see in there that I had tried to cut it out without something guiding me. <clears throat> so I'm going to be able to clean that up. It gives you exactly the measurement of where to also do the internal mechanism, which I just drilled out. And it comes with everything you need. That's what I just used to drill for the internal mechanism for the door you just need a drill so pretty awesome <clears throat> hope everybody has a wonderful fourth of july I gotta fix our flag it's kind of rainy here today but belly came down with me and she's taking her morning nap in the wet grass
So these trees have grown and they bent from that windstorm. So he's cutting them down. In the windstorm that we had like in the beginning of March where we actually had a snowstorm. So they've recovered a little bit, but not like they used to be. What's she doing? He got it done, so we're gonna drive up and down the driveway so that our, the people coming in don't get stuck. getting some brave folks with her. I can't tell who's really with her. I can't wait till Chris finishes the pen. Because they are obviously too smart for my contraption here, huh? Aren't you ladies? There you go. Everybody else can stay in bounds. Just hand fed Marilyn. She's my favorite. Um, some mealworms, but she's in the door. And I gave her some watermelon. I hope he took before pictures, but definitely putting the box blade into good use. babies were and they found a new spot by this fence post that I put in their dirt bathing. <laughs> so usually I don't get like super panicky with the chickens but I just put everybody to bed. But earlier today because this fencing still isn't like lined in, Chris hasn't had time and it's rained the last four days. So our original, or we put everybody out in this coop, uh, this makeshift coop area earlier. And then later in the day, um, our original four decided that they were going to take themselves down to the outside coop. Totally fine, whatever. You can see that, you know, this whole area is not fenced in anymore as well as all this. So our original four took off and it was fine and everybody else was in this area. And then my sister and Evan came over and I looked out and I was like, oh, we got to go. So there was three chickens that walked themselves all the way down there as well. And we're like, great, fine. Put them out in the outside coop with the original four. So I just went to go get everybody. And there was our original four and only two birds. So I'm like starting to panic, but I'm like trying not to. Like, it'll be fine. And there's got to be reason. So I'm like, all right, don't panic. Maybe we only put two. Maybe I was just thinking of the other day. And there was three, so the original four took off um, and the other two followed. And I get in the barn and I count and there's 13 chickens in there. So one of them that we did put in there, because I just confirmed with Chris, I was like, wasn't there three chickens that escaped? And he was like, yeah. He's like, do we have them all? I'm like, yes. So one of them flew out of the coop 
and put herself back into the barn, which is fine, so she knows where she's going, but straight panic. But it is very nice out tonight. Chris is finishing. I thought he was gonna come back around. He's finishing the driveway. Actually, I'll show you guys what it looks like, but he's having fun with our new toy. So, Brand is one of our biggest fans. He loves the tractor. And his mom, Mallory, and I went to school together. And she said that Rand wanted some more information on what a box blade is. And if anyone else doesn't know, because I didn't really know, I knew the name. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, but the box blade will pull the gravel up and then he, you can see he's kind of smoothing it out right now as well. Push it. guys it's been a day uh, redid all of our driveway and the driveway down to the cabin of the caboose I still got some work to do but this is a really nice start uh, to get it all leveled and yeah I'm really really happy with this box blade on the tractor that we got it did a phenomenal job but it's watermelon day are we excited yeah, you guys love watermelon. Yes, you all love the watermelon. <laughs> Here you go. Babies have no fear. berries at camp and we saved the top for the chickens. The babies haven't had strawberries yet. Hey, I, I don't have anything. It's over here. Go get it. freaking out. Why was Belly freaking out? Because a really nice red Jeep drove by, turned around, pulled back in, and pulled into our driveway. And I went out to get the drill because it was in the truck. And I was like, you know, looking at him, they said, your water pile looks so great. I just need to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> does that make you feel good? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course it does. You want to tell the folks what you're working on? Well, Getting rid of that mess. <laughs> All of that mess. Oh, we've had to. Don't look that. at my dead flowers. It's oh, so sad. Yeah. The rest of them are doing great. I know. <laughs> All the other ones are doing fine. Oh. But that one. We've had to use this mess of stuff, broken stuff, to create some sort of a fence for the chickens. And uh, I'm sick of it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm fixing to make this, complete this project.
the area. Lonnie <laughs> lessons today. So we dropped new dirt over there and they love it and we raised the, raised the chicken tractor up because the babies don't need to be in there anymore. And so they can go in under it and they love it. And they can also roost on top of it. But we're just free ranging, it's a little misty. So they won't be out here too long today, but figured they needed to stretch their wings. That's what I was saying, they love being up high. It's only a matter of time that somebody figures it out that they can easily jump from the chicken tractor to the roof. Original four. So massive. <laughs>